Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be slightly different. I filmed a video for Sunday of pumpkin pie and the file on my memory card got corrupt so I was really upset that I didn't have a pumpkin pie recipe for you guys. But I decided to film this video instead. So this is my ultimate Thanksgiving recipe list. This is like my ideal Thanksgiving if someone made it all whole food plant based. What I would do if I was hosting Thanksgiving, what I would make. So I hope you guys enjoy all of the websites and YouTube people that I list below. They make awesome recipes that aren't just Thanksgiving related. And this would just be like the dream Thanksgiving. So I hope you guys make some of these for Thanksgiving. I hope you guys have a lovely holiday. I'm sorry about the video not working, but um, please let me know in the comments if you like this video, if this was helpful, and um, I hope to see you guys very soon with my own recipes coming back. But until then, enjoy, have a great holiday, and I'll see you very soon. For our first item on our whole food plant-based ultimate Thanksgiving list, I included mashed potatoes and gravy because it's one of those staple things that usually anywhere you go, you're gonna see mashed potatoes and gravy. And this one is my ultimate favorite. This is from Forks Over Knives website, which is completely free. They have so many great resources on their website, and I love how easy this recipe is. It's very simple, simple ingredients that you can find at your local grocery store. Nothing's weird in there, and it's a real big hit with everyone. I've made this in the past for Thanksgiving, and everyone who is plant-based or not enjoys it. I also love the app. If you can swing the app, it's a couple dollars. The app is really great. They even have a Thanksgiving section on their app this year, which is really fantastic. But again, the website is free, so I'll have everything linked below that I'm showing you now will be in the dis in the description box. But mashed potatoes and gravy are one of those things that you want to make sure you get right, and this one definitely is so good. You should try it. The next item I included is what do you replace your turkey with? And I got this question a lot. Um, what do you do for the turkey replacement? And for me, I replace mine with a whole roasted cauliflower because this is a showstopper on your Thanksgiving table. Everyone is going to say how beautifully it looks. You can present it with um, a beautiful platter with lots of vegetables circling it. It's just one of those really wow pieces. So I put this right directly in the middle of our Thanksgiving table. I love it. Um, there are so many great recipes for a whole roasted cauliflower. You're pretty much making a sauce that is going on top of your cauliflower and baking it. And you can even bake, you know, your vegetables around it. This one I found from um, Nutrition Studies, which is the T. Colin Campbell Center. They made a whole roasted cauliflower and then they included um, beets and carrots and onions as the side vegetables. I love this. This is this looks really really good. The recipe looks like you can get all the all the items at like your local grocery store. There is nutritional yeast, which most people that are whole food plant based have in their cupboard. But I just loved this version of it, and um, we love making like the cauliflower with a sauce on it. And you can change it up year to year. You can um, make a couple of them if you have a very very large Thanksgiving. They're just beautiful. They get nice and brown. And again, when you put like, for example, if you put the carrots and onions and beets, it's these like beautiful display of colors circling it. So I recommend making a, a roasted cauliflower to replace your turkey. I also recommend making a lentil loaf. So I have a lentil loaf here that I included, and lentil loaves are what we make for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, anytime there's a big holiday, I like to include a lentil loaf. This one is from Nina Girl, and I really liked how she walked through it. She showed how to make it. Lentil loaves are really an awesome thing if you haven't played around with it yet. This is a meatloaf kind of replacement, but it just has so much flavor. This one, she included like a barbecue sauce on top of it as a glaze. You definitely want to make this to replace your turkey. So this and the cauliflower are what I personally do on Thanksgiving. And um, they just are very, very well received around people who are not plant-based. And it just looks beautifully on your table as well as tastes amazing. So after doing the two replacements for your turkey, you know, we also have the mashed potatoes, which is a side. I was thinking about what other sides I wanted to include. And green bean casseroles are one of those things that most Thanksgiving 
tables are going to have. So I included this recipe from the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, and she does such a wonderful job at showing you guys how to make it. She walks you through each step and then shows it at the end. So if you haven't checked out the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, definitely do. She makes tons of oil-free, whole food plant-based recipes that are really good. So I included it here for this one. Um, although I'm not a huge green bean casserole fan in general, I would just rather have like steamed green beans and call it a day. Uh, her recipe did look very, very good and I do want to try it. So that's on my list of things to try. The next item I included is cranberry sauce. And cranberry sauce is one of those things that you like have to have at Thanksgiving, right? Some people love it and hate it, but I'm a lover of it. So I'm going to be making this recipe. This is from General Stores Organics YouTube channel. And on here, she makes this in a Vitamix with sweetened with dates. And it looks so easy. And it comes out more like a cranberry relish sauce, which I really like that it's like um, that you could put it on top of things if you have leftovers. It just looks really good. So it was super quick for her to make. Um, the video is only like six minutes, but it is, it looks beautiful. I think she finishes it off in like less than five minutes. So I'm going to be making this one. You could even probably do like a little orange zest in there. I don't, I don't think she had any of that added to her recipe, but this looks like a keeper. So I'm excited for that one. The next one I included was a cornbread muffin recipe, and of course I included it from Jan and Ann Esselstyn. Um, I love this recipe. I've made it before. It's from their um, their book that they both have, Prevent and Reverse Heart Disease Cookbook, and they have a YouTube channel. If you haven't watched it, you guys need to. I will have it linked below again, but they make cornbread muffins, and these muffins are so good. I use a silicone um, muffin pan when I make these, and they just turn out great. They're, you know, you can snack on it. You don't have to feel bad about eating it, right? It's all oil-free and delicious, so I'm going to make some cornbread muffins for Thanksgiving this year and really, really excited to enjoy those. And then the last vegetable I wanted to include is some kind of carrot vegetable. For me, um like candy carrots were kind of a thing growing up. So I included Plant-Based Gabriel's YouTube um, video of maple glazed carrots. And I love how simple his recipes are. This one's really, really simple. He's just literally cutting up carrots. He used maple syrup to sweeten it. You probably could also use date syrup if you didn't want to use maple. But I love that there's no like vegan butter. There's no oil. There's no anything, no brown sugar, nothing in there that's going to be gross. So for me, this is a really nice um, glazed carrot recipe that I, I think I'm going to try it out this Thanksgiving. And it's just really simple, beautifully colored. I was even thinking of if you went to um, your grocery store and looked for like co different colored carrots, how beautifully it would be displayed. I know Trader Joe's sells those tri-colored carrots in a pack and I could just imagine that like on your Thanksgiving table and it being beautifully done so maple glazed carrots that are oil oil free butter free sugar you know refined sugar free um I really really love this recipe and I really enjoy his YouTube channel and then for stuffing I included my stuffing so I did get to make one Thanksgiving recipe this year um, so I included that as a, the stuffing choice. Uh, another version of a stuffing is on Jan and Ann Esselstyn's YouTube channel. They also make a stuffing, which they stuff into a pumpkin. Um, but stuffing is, you know, one of those things that I, I really enjoy. And I hope if you guys made my, my recipe that you guys enjoyed it. And I love that I can eat it without feeling bad about it. So again, this whole day you could eat and not feel guilty or bad you know you're putting good things into your body and celebrating you know what really thanksgiving is about is being thankful for your family and friends so the last two things i included were dessert so dessert is you know some people think dessert is like a highlight of thanksgiving and i included a chocolate pudding pie and a pumpkin pie recipe but first, the chocolate pudding pie is from the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show. It looks so good. I've never made it, but I want to make it, you know, as soon as possible. Again, I love how she walks you through everything. It's beautifully done. Uh, 
it just, it looks so good. There's even like a chocolate crust to it. And yeah, it just, and it's very simple ingredients. She's just using like silken tofu and dates and a few nuts. It just looks really, really simple and good. So I'm excited to try that. I, may, I might bring that to a Thanksgiving, um, a later Thanksgiving we're going to. And yeah, just you can't go wrong with a chocolate pudding pie. But you know, Thanksgiving wouldn't be, I mean, it would be Thanksgiving without it, but, you know, people look for the pumpkin pie recipe. So I made one, but it didn't work out with my camera battery, but, you know, I'll have to save it for next year to share with you guys. But Jill McKeever makes a refined sugar-free pumpkin pie with a gluten-free crust that, you know, I want to try out. It looks so good. I watched her do a couple of videos, you know, talking about it before she released it, and I was so excited for it, and I love that she includes, like, all of these really great ingredients, like, for example, she uses, like, a Japanese sweet potato and a regular sweet potato in there, and then she sweetens it with dates, and, um, I think she puts, like, apple juice concentrate in it, which... You know, just, it's so creative how you can get. So I love Jill McKeever. If you haven't checked out her YouTube channel, make sure you do. She has tons of videos as well. And um, I just love how she like walks you through step by step and then has her family taste it at the end. And uh, yeah, but this is my ultimate Thanksgiving recipe list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found some new people to go follow. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And let me know in the comments if you like this. Please subscribe. And I will see you guys next time after the holidays. Um, have a great, have a great Thanksgiving, everyone. Bye.